largest mining company have made us an offer. Three million rand. We're going to build an access road straight through our land, linking the conference centre to the mine. You're not getting your hands on leopards now. The time for office is over. I'm taking you to the High Court. We're going to force the sale of Leopard's Den. Title in Leopard's Den shall move to Afrispec. This isn't justice. This is legalized theft. It's over. We lost. Ken. I always hate moving. Don't you? You do know you need to be off the property by today, don't you? So what are you going to do if we're not? Yes, yes, we do know that. We may have slightly underestimated the size of the task, but we'll be gone. Don't worry. Right. If you need some help, I'm sure I could spare some men. Well, I bet you could. How are the Janets doing? Not good. Hopefully, after a few days here. We don't have a few days. I know. This is an insane situation. The animals need us. We have this amazing hospital and... Not now, Liv. Please. We've got company. Don't worry. Just smile. Mr. Peters. I'm sorry that we're late. I hear you're having some trouble. I wouldn't call it trouble. What would you call it then? My priority is to the animals that have to be rehomed. Of course, I appreciate that completely. So where are you folks moving to? Fatani's kindly offered to put us up at his bar. Or was that just you dreaming, Dup? Um, not for long. Until we find somewhere to buy. And you should know that we still have our lions to move and a number of buck. And since we are the only two vets for 60 miles, look, we know that we have to be out of the house. That's understood. Not by me. But we were hoping that we could at least keep the animal hospital open just for a few more weeks. <coughs> Is there something wrong with you, man? Two weeks, Max. Sorry. No. See, I told you. Aren't oh, a bloody stone, these people. Mr. Peters. It's just not my gift to give. The plans, the budget, the worker shifts are set in stone. I only wish I could help, but we need to demolish this place. It simply won't be fit for habitation, human or animal. I'm sorry. I bet you are. Right. You'd best be off. You wish you could help. I know how you can. Go on. A field hospital. You let us set up a clinic. We, not here, way out in the bush, by the waterhole. Yeah, and, and then we can check on the animals and, and protect the area. Until you have it fenced off properly. He won't let you. He's the kind of man who'd sell his dying grandmother for a couple of rand. This isn't helping, Anders. Yo, I'm not standing here listening to this hypocrite. Enough! You know, you! You disgust me! So are you? A hypocrite? All right. You can set up the field hospital, find your new home, then move the animals. Can I trust you not to exploit my generosity on this? Yes, you can trust us. Good. I hope the rest of the move goes smoothly. Go! Shoo! Silly little sad thing. Go, man! Shoo! Shoo! Go, Margarita! Go! Shoo! Shoo! 
Thanks for your help, Dub. Dravanian, <laughs> you're a bloody genius. A camp on our own land. And Peter said yes. A field hospital. A field hospital camp, call it what you like. He had the chance to kick us off our land, and he blew it. What are you talking about? This country has a long history of squatting, and squatters, my friend, have rights. Do. What are you up to? There is no appeal, though. We lost. We're moving to Fatani's. Yes, of course we are. Of course we are. But you're going to need somebody to guard the hospital. Um, possessions nine-tenths of the law, isn't that what they say? Yeah, that's it, I believe. Must be great to only have to worry about yourself, hey, Doug? Caroline, Olivia, Charlotte, would you be so kind as to take our stuff to Fatani's? Tarbo and Alice, we need to work out how we set up a field hospital. Yeah, I'll help. You want to help? How about stumping up your half of the money from this place so we can all buy somewhere to live together? Caroline's got a lot of essentials. Welcome, make yourselves at home. Come in, come Thank in. Thank you. Hey, Charlotte. Oh, we didn't lose anything. No, <laughs> you didn't. Oh. So, where do you want us to put our stuff? Oh, well, you could, uh, you could set up the bunk beds there and you could set up your furniture here somewhere. Oh, okay. It should be fine. What? Uh, uh, oh, there's a cheetah! It's okay oh, if Jana stays. stays. I'm worried about dip. I'm thinking of having T-shirts made with that on. You mustn't take this personally. Oh, I don't. I'm not really. I keep trying to imagine what it must be like losing the place that's been your family home for over a hundred years. If he put his half in with us... Yeah, I know, but it's his money. He must do what he thinks is best for him. What's best for him is to be with us. Yeah, I know that. You know that. Dup's alone to himself. You know, without his money, we are never going to be able to afford another game reserve. Well, you're going to think I'm mad, but I have enormous faith in Anders Duplessis. I always have. And you're crazier than he is. <laughs> the Vanyard! What? Did I spill it right? <laughs> 